this video will show you how to create a quick border using PowerPoint. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch. Let's go ahead and just click on the outside and delete all these. Or um, underneath layout, you can just say blank. So I'm going to insert some clip art. And I'm going to pretend I want an apple. Look, make sure also that you have include office.com content checked. If you don't, you only get a few really cheesy things. Okay, so I'm looking for an apple that I can make a border with. How about this one? So I click and drag it over, and maybe I want to alternate the border with a red one and a green one. Okay, now this red one has a shadow on it, and this one doesn't. Um, I should be able to use the Remove Background tool on this, and or let's just escape instead. Let's just use the cropping tool. So I double click on it, make sure the formatting, grab the cropping tool, and just crop the shadow out. Crop just slightly more, a little bit more. Well, I'm not going to mess around with this too much. You'll get the idea. So I'm going to put my two apples the way I want them. Maybe I want them overlapping a little bit. Then I'm going to drag my cursor around both so that they are both selected. And then I can do a Control C, Control V, or what's even easier is hold the Control key down and just click and drag. And just continue to do this if you want them to overlap a little bit. That looks pretty perfect. Now if I want this whole thing to be copied, I'm just going to drag my cursor all the way around them. Hold my control key. I want to make sure I don't click one of the little handles. And then click and drag. Or I could do a control C, control V. And bring this down. Whoops. Didn't copy. Alright, let's bring it back up then and see if we can copy it. There we go. Um, didn't have that control key down, and I have a border. Now obviously I could also um, copy these one more time. Hold that control key down. Now I'm going to group this. Right click and group. And now I can turn this sideways. and bring it over. Now you can see it looks like I have a few too many. And if that's the case, I could click on the ones I don't want and hit the delete. For the backspace. I'll click on this one, backspace, and look at that. Wow, that looks pretty good. I'm going to click on this one that's grouped and I'm going to hit the control key and pull bring it over, but this time we've got to rotate it the other way. Line it up a little bit better. Okay, and now I have my great handy dandy little border. I see I had one more up here that I could have clicked on and backspaced. And now I can print and I'm ready to go, all using PowerPoint. I probably want to make sure that there isn't a pre-done one of these, so I'm going to go up to see if there are any templates. File to New, and I'm just going to type in Apple Border and see what I get. 
There's nothing there. Let's just try borders. Okay, well, there are a few borders here, not a whole lot that are completely done. But maybe I like this one, but I don't like some of the things on it. And I say, you know, some of these things I really don't like. I just want the border. Well, I could do a couple of things here. I could insert a text block or even a shape. If I do a text block, and then I can click and drag over this and just hit the Enter key a bunch of times. And then in my text block, I'm going to right click on it and go to Format Shape. And under Fill, I'm going to do a solid fill of whatever color I want. If I just want plain white, I can do plain white and close. And so I've got this text block that's essentially covering the whole thing up, except for the parts that I want. Um, I can also uh, insert a square shape and do the same thing and then I would have my border in PowerPoint. So a couple of ways to do some borders and hope that helps you get started using PowerPoint for graphics.